So. I'm going to do a quick video. Maybe a little bit longer than quick. Uh, try something a little bit new. With some paper crinkling. And some typing. started. Got some nice old papers. Hopefully they'll provide some relaxation. And if you don't like the gum chewing, then skip this video. But anyhow, what I need to do is transfer my lyrics to... And I apologize for the chair, it's got a little squeak on it. But, um, I need to transfer my lyrics to a, sorry, I just need to get word going here. Uh, there we go. I just need to transfer my lyrics to a, uh, a working document that I use. It's like a rock album coming out in uh, a couple months, hopefully. So stay tuned for that one. All right. Here we go. I have um, a new song that I started called. What is it called? started these lyrics a while ago, but I haven't had a chance to transfer what I wrote to the spreadsheet, or to the uh, Word document, so I'm going to do that right now. Put that there, and hopefully this microphone isn't touching that monitor. Alright, so if we go... songs are in the key of F. I don't really know why. Key of F major. I do a lot of F minor too, which is kind of a weird key for most musicians, but uh, sometimes what I'll do is I will write a song and then I will transpose it into another key because it doesn't fit my level voice. And that's another problem for me. A lot of people like to hear a low voice in rock music or any music in general. They tend to prefer the tenors and the tenors have very high voices, more commercial. Okay, so it goes I never had. Thank you. 
happens into another verse. I never thought something. Something beautiful. Until I thought of you or something like that. This is not a love song, by the way. I don't do love songs. So that one's done. Put that one back there. These are just the phrases that I thought of. And this is just old research that I did on a property. song now, so I'm going to take these lyrics here and move them, control X, move them down here, control V, there we go, okay, so this one I wasn't sure what to call it, so I just called it Similar, well, reminiscent of um, of this uh, Serge Tonkin. I guess that's how you say his name. I don't know. The guy from. I can't even think of the name of the band. There's a band. There's a song called Sugar. Oh, okay, so I'll look it up since I got my computer here. Let me just see if I can. Search Tonkin. Search Tonkin is a Lebanese born American in Armenian American singer, songwriter, composer, multi instrumentalist, recorder. Uh, where is. There's a song called Sugar. <laughs> That's my favorite song of theirs. Oh, System of a Down, that's right. Uh, not, not for sensitive ears, by the way. I don't listen to that every day. It's just, um, it's one of those, you know, songs from my 20s that I liked quite a bit. Just because of its um, sort of raw emotion. So, here we go. This particular song is in a minor key. System of a down, I should say. There we go. Got my word document up. And this one supposedly has three verses in. Let me guess. F. No, this one's in D. So we'll go Q D. D minor. And we'll see. Is it weary or wary? Wary is the world on fire. It seems like I have two papers. Oh, oh here's the other one. Another piece that's kind of like it. Uh, it basically uses a guitar doing open fifths on both songs, but one's in a different key. Uh, uh, one's called Life Serenade, and the other's called. I don't have a name for it yet, but it's very similar. 
It has a different beat though. One is in a 3 4 type signature, and the other is in a, a 4 4 or a 2 4, sort of. So this one starts where is the world on fire? Mary is your. syllables. And I'm not sure what I mean right there. Oh, two syllables for burning, waiting, or yearning. I'm not sure. So what I tend to do when I write music, when I write lyrics anyway, is that I thought and sometimes they're not even words as you can tell sick on tired doesn't make any sense but sometimes the things that come into my brain are a little bit obscure and so what I'll do is I'll just write them down as is and then kind of um, tweak them based on real words because the way I see it is that when your brain is bring is uh, is being really creative nothing is going to make sense. Well, some stuff is not going to make sense. And so what you want to do is you want to capture that idea right away. And then as that idea starts to manifest, you will make it better and better as you work on it. So that's how my music works. And so this one where it says sick on tire. So the first part is, where is the world on fire? Something like, I could put, um, I don't know, entertaining through your pyre, or I don't know, some kind of dark lyric I could put there. It's kind of fun, it's like putting a puzzle together. Entertaining through your pyre, I don't know, or maybe like a Terry and my. This one might be the F minor one. I don't remember. But the chorus is burning and yearning. Just those two words, and I don't really know why. I think it's sort of like a choir, or at least uh, two voices in harmony. So it's like um, burning. Burning one's like it's on the four to the five chord. Burning is on the four chord minor, and then yearning is on the five chord major before it goes down to the one minor. Because the one minor is the key that it's in, which is F. So we're looking at a B flat minor and a C major, sometimes with a seventh note. Okay. I did study two years of music theory. That was a lot of fun. So we have Serenade of Life, or Life Serenade. And this one says, there is no life inside eyes. There's no light, I think, or there's no shine inside your eyes. I don't remember. There is. My handwriting is really bad in this, by the way. It's as I got older. 
There is no feeling in your tears. And then there's like, uh, there is no pain inside your head. Sorry if these are downer lyrics. There is no pain inside your head. Uh, okay, here's the weird part where the creativity was kicking in. The chorus. Says when the life comes and your head is cold. Uh, I think these lyrics might be a little too extreme for this video. I'm gonna go to a different set of lyrics because. So this one, in this particular song, has uh, it was sort of inspired by Pink Floyd. There's a Pink Floyd song called Mother, and I like that song a lot because it's acoustic and it has this electric guitar in it, the electric guitar solo, which is really good. So I kind of wanted to go along the feel of that song. And so this one's Father, which kind of goes along with my issues with um, growing up with a dad who wasn't really present. So, this one says, Father, um, lyrics are troubled. Father, comma, tender mom. Father, tender mom. I tried to follow, but now he's gone. And I've tried to hide my feelings, comma, dot, dot, dot. There's a little pause there. The song is really weird because it has really short verses. It has two verses before it goes into a chorus, and I don't even know what the chorus is on this song, but it goes right into another part here. It says, Father, uh, father figure, F father figure, comma, he can't be one, as in win one. Uh, but it's sort of a play on words. Like he can't be one with the family, but he also can't be one over. And that's referring to my stepdad. Who at the time, you know, there were issues with him. But he's come a long way. He's actually a really good guy. So it says father figure. Can't be one. Still, but still, he needs her, comma. She came undone. Uh, what's the rest of it? goes into this guitar solo that's supposed to be really good. I wrote every single note of it and hopefully, hopefully
hopefully it comes out right. So what I, what I do is uh, I record all the parts at home and then I take them to my uh, sound engineer and uh, he has all the right equipment and he makes them sound really good. So there's that. And then the chorus. Well, actually, this is the bridge and the chorus, maybe. I don't know. Like I said, this song is kind of weird. But it goes, Father, Father, comma, come back home. Comma, and Father, comma, you, your, as in you are, not alone. And you're not unknown. Comma. The seeds ain't sown. And I know the word ain't still isn't recognized as a word in the dictionary, even though everybody uses it. I think it's a word. The seed ain't sown. Flesh and bone. And bone. Come on. You're not alone. Alone. Just checking the microphone there. Let's make sure that it doesn't bump into the monitor. Okay. And I am approaching 24 minutes on this little iPod. It's doing pretty good. And it's not even plugged in. not alone, and then it goes down to the four chord, and then it goes back into another verse right here. Um, you stayed away, comma, it's not too late, should be a semicolon. Not too late. By tomorrow, comma, a brand new day. Sorry about the chair. I should get that fixed. But I probably won't. And then it gets louder at this part that says, and I've tried, tried. silent part, fall off notes, or connector notes, whatever you want to call them. And I've tried to get you back in my life. And then it fades away. It's not one of those songs that has a, like a powerhouse ending or something. It just, it's a very subtle song. Just like the lyrics are very subtle. Post it to this channel. I won't, but look for it very soon. So that's all I'm gonna do for now. And I hope everyone's doing well. I just want to thank everyone for the comments and the the support. Talk to you later. Somebody's up.
things to not place items in this furniture, mattresses, grills, and trash compactor. That's not really a problem. Uh, furniture and large items may not be placed in the dumpster. Arrangements for items may be hauled. Third party. Let's see here. There's the good stuff. Normal wear and tear will be taken into consideration. However, you should complete a thorough house cleaning. There's a high balance on that credit card. This goes moving this is expensive. Go to profile and settings. I don't know why it's taking me to here. That's okay.
change my address. Change my address or phone number online. residential address three eight five nine should have that already. Hmm. Let's go here. Oh, that's required. Why? Oh. website's back. 